All right, guys, quick video. Welcome aboard the H-64. And something I've seen people talking about is the aircraft wanting to roll on them. And I honestly had no idea what anyone was talking about because I haven't really experienced this. So I wanted to jump in and I've been flying around quite a bit and I did figure out what's causing it. So we've got our aircraft going here, uh, 100 knots. I'm gonna start bringing in the torque just a little bit. And the issue that I'm seeing is people saying that when the aircraft rolls to the left, it tries to flip over on them uh, when they put the nose forward. So I'm gonna do it my way. And there is a little bit of a roll. And I guess I did notice that, but I just kind of just, I don't know, chalked it up to me being a, a crap pilot. Uh, but I think I can see why it's being exacerbated by people because I think a lot of people are probably doing this. And here we go. I'm jamming the cyclic forward. And yes, the aircraft is rolling quite a bit. All right, we're getting some wild torque spikes. So look, here's the deal. Is this a perfect module? No, is it still being worked on? Yes, there's, there's things that are being done behind the scenes. The flight model's being worked on. Uh, but I think what the issue is 100% is just a little bit of control touch uh, combined with a little bit of work in progress. So it's not necessarily you, but it's also a little bit you. All right, so here's what I suggest. Again, what I'm seeing is, and I'm going to do it again. You can see my controls up there. Uh, we've already got the cyclic uh, centered here. We, everything's fine. My hands are off the controls right now just to show a little bit of stability. All right, my hands are back on the controls. I'm just going to push that cyclic forward. And there it goes and it's just you know it's got a little bit of a roll now obviously uh you're gonna see that torque spike i didn't touch the collective at all these are just results of again some changes or uh some things that need to be fixed in the flight model coupled with the fact that you're changing the drag on the rotor system and and I, you know is it supposed to do this in real life no the aircraft would not do this but again it goes back to what i've been saying you got to fly a helicopter differently than you fly a jet. I understand that we all watch Top Gun and Maverick's putting his hands on the stick and he's jamming it around. You don't need to do that, okay? You're flying a helicopter, that's not how you're going to do it. So if I need to get down quickly, if I'm doing this and I'm at, I'm at you know, what are we at? 90% torque and 115 knots and I need to get down, I'm going to take a little bit of collective out. I'm going to ease that nose forward. Because see, I'm keeping my speed up. The aircraft's going down. I know it's going down because I can... See the little flight path vector. Just pay attention to that, where it's going, all right? So it's going down. I don't need to jam the, the stick forward. It's really not buying me anything. Now, even in my maneuver, yes, the aircraft rolled a little bit. Uh, and until that gets fixed, uh, you know, you just need to compensate for it. But by not jamming the cyclic forward, you're not inducing that much of a roll. Therefore, you can compensate for it. Now, understand I do have a stick extension. I'm running the VKB Ultimate Gunfighter uh, with the long extension. So if you've got a, uh, you know, a short stick with no extension, then, then maybe it is a little bit harder to deal with. Uh, but just understand that that's primarily what's happening. It's a, it's a combination of the flight model uh, still being worked on and then you just jamming that cyclic down. But you, you don't need to be doing it. Take small measured movements. I do it all the time on stream. Everyone can see it. Um, it, it it's really not a big deal. Just a small displacement of the cyclic from center will get you what you want and then of course using the force trim to trim it out anyway i hope this is helpful i hope it helps you understand what might be going on and maybe decrease a little bit of your frustration we'll talk to you later